What's up guys, another day, another video. We are in Austin, Texas to check out some Dazed and Confused filming locations. Dazed and Confused is one of my favorite movies growing up as a kid. Um, I actually saw the movie for, for the first time on TV when I was sick home from school one day. And uh, from that moment on, I love this movie. So uh, the first spot we're at right now is where they filmed uh, where the Emporium was. Now obviously it's not an Emporium, it's just a regular old business now. And right next to this spot, is where Ben Affleck gets the paint spilled on his head. Um, pretty awesome scene of the movie. Let's check it out. Straight ahead, that's where the Emporium was. Now where that says 66, whatever it says. Yep, that's where the Emporium was painted across because there was doors there, but the doors were, um, you know, were, were like I said, painted over. When they pull in, they do a pull in shot. Let's see if I can get it right. Come down here and then they kind of pan around as they come around and then park over here. A lot of the cars would have been you know, parked straight up right against the building, kind of like they are right now. It's, it is a weird experience being in a place you've only seen on, in a movie. Mm. And yeah, you're right, they did have the doors painted over. Yep, and so yeah, there's what it would look like and so the doors on this building were painted as part of it. And then the doors to go in would have been like somewhere over there. Probably different doors. They're different doors. Different. Yeah, they're, they were, looks like wooden doors, I think. Or different doors. Metal, probably. Yep. This is this restaurant on the corner. It was still the same restaurant. It still has that same signage. Whereas, like, obviously this building, this huge monstrosity in the background, that's brand new. You could, like, tell that they're still building it. So that definitely wasn't here then. And I don't think this fence was here either. But, yeah, that restaurant's always been there. That, even the body shop was white. Yeah, the body shop was a different color. Even the entryway was different. Um, but, no, definitely a cool spot. Just about to head out, and I noticed that they had this on the building. It's pretty cool. I just want to get a shot of uh, the machine shop real quick. The garage door. Oh, maybe even the same garage door. There's a picture of Ben Affleck there, covered in paint, which would be right there. You can see. Up top there. No, that's cool. This is, uh, see, like, that's even different. They did change it a little they bit. they added that in, or I just don't, can't see it? Because you right. can see this little, yeah, that had windows before, and it's blocked in there. Now it's like a, or like a yeah, mm -hmm. a garage part now, too. Yeah, so they might have blown that out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. No, that's cool. Super cool. It's this wall over here. You know, up in the front, one of the the sports cars would have been lined up here. You know, when they went went out for rides and stuff. Ben Affleck's car was parked over he over here somewhere, and like he sped off after he was covered with paint. All right, guys, so we're at another dazed and confused location. This is the spot where Harshfelter, one of the friends of the freshman going into high school, gets busted uh, by O'Bannon and a couple of the other guys. And then the girls show up, they open up the trunk and there's a huge amount of beer in the back. Yeah, so I think it's definitely behind this fence. I'll get out and uh, we'll see what we can see. This spot over here somewhere. Like it looks so different that you wouldn't think it would be, but you never know. But somewhere over here, obviously maybe these buildings weren't here. It was probably more empty, but yeah, very strange. So we're just about to go to Carl Burnett's house. Carl's a kid with the blonde hair. Well, Bannon, which is uh, Ben Affleck's character, uh, they, he chases them down at their house and cuts them off before they go inside and is about to hit him. And the mom comes out with a shotgun and basically stops the whole thing from happening. Going to that house right now, I'm just about to drive by. I just wanted to set it up. So here it is over here. Let's take a look. Boom. The front door the door's the same. is still the same. That's absolutely wild. So yeah, the front door literally being the same is absolutely wild. And there must have been a tree here. The tree's gone. 
Yeah, that's. I'm like, it's definitely. I thought it was, but it. It's not this. It's not this spot. No. So they must have put it. It must have been somewhere else. Yeah, the chase scene. That. Yeah, which makes sense. Why would they have the chase scene in this neighborhood? It is really tight. If you want to show the road, like the road's pretty tight in here to do that. But yeah, interesting, interesting, interesting. So we're at the baseball field where Mitch pitched his last game for his middle school team or town league. I'm not even quite sure what he was playing for, but. Um, what's really cool is there's actually a baseball game going on. Not only that, one of the players looks like Mitch. And I was like, are we in a time warp? Is it 1993? I don't know. But first, we're going to go over by the outfield where Mitch walked out to receive his beating, basically. <laughs> there's a little spot right here. <laughs> There we go. So on the other side there, right up there is where they would have been hanging out above, watching the game, yelling down at Mitch, Mitchie boy, all that stuff. And then over here was where they would be hanging out on the side of the, the hill or maybe back there, something like that. So you can see the railing that they're kind of standing on, and it is super steep. You don't really imagine how steep it is. And then mm -hmm. right where these people are, that's where we're standing. Like right here. Like it is pretty steep. For sure. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, Benny. Benny sitting on the what's in the hall, which so it would probably be right there. That's pretty cool. Yep. Okay, so another thing we're looking at when Mitch leaves, he leaves the pitching mound, which would be there, and then walks this way, and then the boys follow him along the guardrail all the way down, and loop around, and then meet him somewhere in the center field, which there used to be a gate there, but there's no longer a gate, essentially. The only gate there is is all the way on the right-hand side in the corner here, which it doesn't seem to be the same one. You seem to want to point out Pink talks to an old man about football somewhere over here. I was thinking it possibly could be up there somewhere. There's a Mitch and the old man scene, which takes place right over here. He comes walking up the stairs. And then you'll be talking to Mitch right about there. So thoroughly convinced now that that is the gate down there that they bust him at. Pink comes walking down this way. Obviously the guys were down there and they come walking this way. Stolen base. They would have came probably this way and we're assuming that if they did film it here, they probably would have just filmed it in one of these, either in this side or the other parking side, the beating scene, or it could have been filmed somewhere completely different. Not really sure. But this has been sick. Checking out the spot. Okay, Mitch's house. 6806. 6810, 8886, this little one. Yep, this little guy. So it looks a little different for sure. But yeah, that, that'd be Mitch's house right there. Get, no soliciting. <laughs> yeah, get, see, they have a sign because they, they must get people um, that come by and, and stop and take what you want to call it. They're probably like, what's this movie? We've never seen it. I thought the same thing. Cars would have been rolling up in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would have came rolling up in here. I think they're parked in these two, one of these two spots. Yep, one of these two, seven and eight. Pretty sick. Love it. Other 
filming location spot. I am at Burger Stadium, which is the location of the football stadium that they're at, hanging out at the end of the movie uh, at the 50 yard line. And then they get busted by the cops and then the, co the coach shows up. Football field's there. Obviously it looks a lot nicer now than it did back in the day, for sure. But 50 yard line would have been there. They were filming this direction because you could see this building in the background as they're filming it. Um, so yeah, man, pretty cool. Pretty cool. So we're, we're having a trouble figuring out where they get they leave when they get busted by the cops, where they go out. We're thinking they might go out that way, but the, this fence is different than it was back in 1993. It looks like a new fence. So they've like upgraded it, but um, yeah, maybe we'll go to the other side. I'll show you also a picture of what this place used to look like, but um, pretty cool. So here is the spot. Now the fence has been replaced since 1993, which is why it looks different, but this is where they would have come out, where the police would have caught them. Not only that, this is where the coach, the coach would have been parked here, kind of parallel or something like that. And so when Randall was coming out, you can definitely see this building in the background. Um, so the, the, his friends were like kind of standing here and he was kind of talking to the coach in this general area. So he must have been parked kind of like out towards this direction. Um, but definitely a cool shot for sure. Such a um, memorable movie from my childhood. So it's kind of cool to, uh, to see this in real life. Also, this walkway seems like bigger than it was in 93. Like they made it wider. Yeah, this is definitely the spot though. Like I said, the 50 yard lines where they were hanging out, smoking a joint. And then they uh, came uh, came walking out this way. And this is definitely the gate. They always, like I said, they replaced this gate. They could. It's hard to tell. Or as far as like where he was talking to, what's his name? It could have been over here too. Like on this side. Like over here. It's really hard to tell exactly where. All right, guys, we are in Austin, Texas at another Dazed and Confused filming location site. This is the site of the girls hazing, I don't know, I don't know incident or whatever, but here it is, check this out. Um, so it's pretty easy to recognize it, honestly. Um, there's the picture right there. Um, so you can see, like they were kind of actually in the front here, like in that general area, and then the, the guys or the, and the other cars towards the back would be like right here. And then those guys were over here. Mm -hmm. The other guys would be over here, hanging out on the side. Like pink. And pink would they were like in towards the front near Slater. the sign and stuff. There was like a sign in the background. It's a lot bigger area, but really it wasn't. It was a really small area. So one thing me and Nicole were uh, while we were watching the movie, something we noticed is when they're, I think it's Mike. I think the guy's name is Mike. When he's talking to the young, to the freshman girl or whatever, like over here somewhere. Yeah. In the background, you can see the other like extras, seniors, they have the girls on leashes and they're like leading them around like dogs, uh, which is something that I never noticed before. Yeah, it'd be like right here. Mm, well, they were, because the leashes, they brought them up here on the grass because the yeah, boys yeah. are here. Yep. And they brought them up on the grass mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm which is not even grass anymore, it's like asphalt. Uh, which is crazy, because it's such a small space. In the movie, it looks like such a bigger grass area. You know? Oh, maybe. No, it just was a strip. But you can see these things in the building. Mm -hmm. Right here. Yeah, yeah, that's how we get, you can match it up, these little things in the background. And it looks like this tree wasn't here. Mm -hmm. Was that it in later? Yeah, that's kind of wild. But let, let me get a picture, of, uh, I'll get a shot of the front where the sign is. So in the front, when the when O'Bannon gets back from having the shotgun pulled on him, he g r walks up to the guys and they're up by the front, right by the sign over here. There's the sign there. And I think they'd be like right underneath this sign. You can kind of see it in the background. And here's the other angle of the, um, the parking lot. But very, very cool. Filming. But yeah, the 
this is it. Yep. Yeah, it's wild. It's such a smaller spot than um, than what you expect it to be. Because essentially, it's all taking place right here in this little teeny parking lot. And not only that, there's like a little river down below behind these cars that you would never know is there. That's cool. It was like a palm tree or something. Now it's like a regular tree. So that would have been right here. Somewhere right here. Because there was a little bit of a gap between the sidewalk and the... But you can see the corner of the building in the background here, the sidewalk there. The corner of the building, which would be back there. All right, guys, we are in Georgetown, Texas to check out another Dazed and Confused filming location. This is the middle school where Mitch Kramer and his buddies are leaving. The high schoolers are waiting for him outside. Um, let's take a look. All right, so here's the building here. You might recognize this from one of the shots in the scene. They had like a, um, I don't know, like a trash chute kind of going down the side of the building here. I think so. The chute was there. Benny and his truck were right here, and they were yelling on their little uh, megaphone from the car. And the, I guess the classroom they would have been in supposedly maybe would have been even this one or one of the ones over there. Now one of the other shots has the kids coming out of this door on the far end, walking down the rampway. And then, uh, like I said, the other kids running out. Yep, there was a fence here, which is no longer here. This area looked different as well, because the truck was like pulled in like pretty far in, and there was a like another walkway or something. But yeah, yeah, roundabout. Yeah, yeah, it was all like concrete in here instead of grass. So it, it was a lot different, that's for sure. But this was a uh, one of the cool scenes. I love the love in the movie. I love the teacher's response to. Uh, Mitch Kramer and his buddies that were trying to get out early and I love the kid going down the trash chute and escaping. Mitch's buddy's car was parked here, his mom's car, and so they would have been, they would have dragged out and raced down this way. Straight down there. And then a lot of the kids would have been running out here, right down this way. Pretty cool. most recognizable house right there and this is exactly where the, their car would have been parked the school's right there and as the mitch and his buddies drive off o'bannon uh comes up in his truck and says hello boys and they go you know racing off towards that way and then this driveway over here is another kid uh getting busted on the right hand side all right guys we are at another spot in austin texas dazed and confused you might recognize this spot this was the high school and dazed and confused uh that lee high school i believe it was called so we got some shots here from the movie that i want to point out um it basically almost looks almost identical to how it looked before just a little bit different so let me show you so one of the first shots it's a little bit of an overhead shot but bigfoot's car drives right through here while sweet emotion is playing kind of the opening scene of the movie and then pulls in right over here um, and that's kind of like the opening shot and then pink Pinky and his other buddies are kind of hanging out over here in the back one of the back of the truck so Bannon Comes in a little bit late comes racing in over here and Ends up right there and I believe They must have been on the grass. I think over here when he came rolling up So yeah, then the gym the gym teachers come out this way and they I think they had basically talked to him probably like right here Yeah, that's right. The truck was pulled and parked up here, and all the coaches yep. were here. So they pulled up, they parked here. Yep. And then when they were walking by, that's when the coach yelled at him and was like, Don't think I haven't noticed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Group. Yep. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't think I haven't noticed, yeah. And so then, yeah, they, they, they try to get them to sign a thing that they won't do drugs and alcohol. This way, which yep. it might be a little different because I think it was more grass. Maybe they added this loading dock. Yeah, I think so. It does look a little different. <laughs> I think this was all grass. Yeah, and that's why he's like, "What are you doing? Picking up trash?" Yeah, I got everyone's attitude adjustment here, and he like throws it somewhere over here. Yeah, and then uh, I did this, and then also another shot when school gets out, all the kids kind of come out this way and up over here and through this direction as well, <clears throat> which is uh, another shot over here. We'll walk right up. So after Pink throws the paper 
her over here. He comes walking this way to go back into school and he goes up these steps and I love it. It looks like it's almost the same, the same sort of paintings on the wall. So he comes walking up over here, up these steps. Ugh. And inside, I love it. It looks almost the same. They still have the lockers and everything. That's cool. Like everything's basically almost the same in here. And so yeah, they would have met up with his other buddies inside this hallway. The one kid's on acid, and then he talks about meeting up a little bit later on. That's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Shame we couldn't get inside. You could figure out like which classroom it was, because it looks, honestly, it looks the same in there. Yeah, they haven't done anything. Not any yard work either. Nope. Yeah. No, oh, so cool. You know how to park right up here? Park right up here? 